Happy Sabbath, everybody, to all the little boys and girls and all the big boys and girls. We're so happy that you're here with us for story time. And today I have two special friends with me. Where are they? Where's Lily? Hello. And Freddie. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath and happy Sabbath to all the little boys and girls at home who are going to help me tell the story. Our story is called, I Want What I Want. And it's about a little girl named Ashley who didn't like rules. She loved doing whatever she wanted to do. Her room would be dirty with clothes and shoes and books and everything all over the place. And her mama said, Ashley, clean your room. Oh, I don't want to clean it, but she would have to clean it. And every time her mother would tell her about it, she would be like, I wish I could live in a house, but there were no rules. She went to school and she told her friend about it. And her friend was like, oh, I don't have any rules at my house. And she said, what? Well, doesn't that make your mother mad? She's like, oh, my mother doesn't check. Doesn't check. What? what? Ashley was like, what? I wonder what that would be like to live at a house where there were no rules and you could do whatever you wanted to do. You think that would be fine? No, it's not good. No, ma'am, because we won't have order. No. Having my own way all the time isn't a good thing. You are right. That would not be good at all. But she said it sounded good to her. Heather said to Ashley, why don't you come to my house? Come to my house and see what happens there. Ashley was like, a house with no rules? Oh, she couldn't wait. She went home and she asked her mother, can I go by Heather's house on the weekend? She said, yeah, I'm sure you can. After you clean your room. Uh, <sighs> yeah, after you clean your room. But the weekend came, Saturday night came, and she got to go to Heather's house. And they were there, they played games, they watched TV, they watched the shows on their computers. And then it started to get late. Heather's mother had been coming in and out while they were playing. But she came in and she said, girls, it's almost time to go to bed. So after this show, it's time to go to bed. She left the room and when the show was over, Ashley was like, oh, that was a good show. Time to go to sleep. Heather was like, bed? Mm -mm. What? We have more shows we can watch. She said, but didn't your mother say that we were to go to sleep? Oh, she's not coming back in here. We can watch something else. So Ashley was like, okay. Heather. I know. So they watched the show, they went to sleep. And the next morning, there was so much noise in the house. As she woke up, she said, what is all of that? Heather said, probably my brother and my father were just having, just rowing downstairs. She said, rowing? Rowing? What? Daddy and son, rowing. Oh, anyhow, this is the house that you know, everybody does what they want to do. Then the girls started to play. They pull out all the dolls and the doll clothes and they played and pretend, had a great time. Heather got bored. She wanted to pull out the clay. She pulled out the clay. Her mother said, Heather, put away the toys, put away stuff and stop pulling things out instead of putting them back. Did Heather obey? Nope. No, she no, didn't. No, she didn't. Oh, wow. She did exactly what she wanted to do and just left them there. They went outside. Ashley felt so bad that she wanted to start picking up the toys. But Heather was like, oh, just leave that. We'll just go outside and play. They went outside and play. They came back inside. Heather was thirsty. She said, Mommy, I'm thirsty. She said, Girls, just have some water out of the fridge because you're about to have lunch. I don't want you to spoil your appetites. Did Heather listen? Mm -mm. Nope. They went in the fridge. She saw soda. She opened the soda. Soda? Yep. Opened the soda. Spread the soda and then afterwards she was like, I'd like to have something else. She opened the freezer and there was her favorite ice cream bar. Yeah. And she's like, yes, whoa, let's whoa. split this one too. But right then her brother Calvin walked in, grabbed the ice cream <gasps> bar. What? Yes. Calvin! That's exactly how Heather felt. She was like, Calvin, mommy! She was so angry. Would you be angry if somebody took your things without asking? Yes! yes. Yeah. I would be mad because it's mine. I would be upset because it was something that they did not ask for and I really like it. Uh, no! That's because I love my brother. I can't be mad at him. I would be upset because they did not ask me for my permission. Yes, I'd be very mad because that person wouldn't like it if someone take it from them. I think I would be upset too. But, and Heather was so upset. She was like, Mommy, you never tell Calvin what to do. You never make him listen. You always let him do whatever he wants to do. 
But Ashley stood by watching all of this and she was like, hmm, sounds familiar. Sounds really mm. familiar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ashley was like, well, in her head, she didn't say it too. Well, she's like, well, you were doing everything you wanted to do. So here you go. It's getting back at you. Well, I can tell you, by the time Ashley's mother came for her, she was ready to go home. She said, Mommy, oh my gosh, I thought it would be fun to live in a house with no rules, but that was just crazy. No. She said, I can't do it. Her mother said, what happened? She said, everybody was doing whatever they wanted. Nobody listened to anybody. You didn't know what was going to happen from one moment to the next. So mother was like, yep. Rules are there to keep you safe. Rules are there to protect you. Rules are there to keep things in order. As she said, Mommy, I am so happy you and Daddy have rules at home. Yep. Because mm -hmm. even though sometimes I don't want to listen, it really is the best thing. And I'm going to try and listen more and more every day. Yep. Good job. Yes. And boys and girls, that's exactly how it is with Jesus. God has rules for us to obey. What are those rules called? Ten commandments. The Ten Commandments. Yes, the Ten Commandments. And what do you think would happen if God didn't have the Ten Commandments? Chaos and confusion. Uh, we would do our own thing. If God didn't give us the Ten Commandments, the world will be filled with sins and have no order. Everyone will be doing what they want to do, stealing, lying, thieving, and all kinds of stupid things. That's right. So everybody would just be doing whatever they wanted. I mean, a lot of people do that now, but at least those of us who believe in God and are Christians, we should be obeying the Ten Commandments. Why do you think that's so important? Because God said if you love Him, obey His commandments. Because we love him. Because we love him and we want to go to heaven. That's right. God says if we love him, we'll keep his commandments. God gave those commandments to us to protect us, to keep us safe, so that we would be able to protect each other, show each other love, that there would be order in the world, that everything would happen, things would make sense, and we would be safe and sound and protected. And of course, Love is the motivating factor that if we love God, we will obey Him. And one of the commandments say that we are to obey our parents. So yep. if we don't obey our parents, we're actually breaking the Ten Commandments. Oh no! That's right, that's right. Well, boys and girls, that's our story for today. I hope you enjoyed your time with us. And now we're going to pray before we go. Aaliyah, let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, Thank you for loving us so much that you gave us the Ten Commandments. Help us to show how much we love you and each other by obeying them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Until next time, boys and girls. See you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.